dear friends in Christ, welcome to our daily reflection for the 28th of September and Thursday of the 25th week in the ordinary time. People get anxious for various reasons, but if one is anxious to see Jesus, it should be seen from the positive light. Unfortunately, there are many who are anxious to see Jesus, just like Herod. He was anxious to see Jesus because his conscience was not at peace. He was mistaking Jesus for a comeback John the Baptist. Is your wrongdoings causing you anxieties and disturbing your peace of mind? Jesus is the only one who can truly restore that peace. As we continue to experience the devastations resulting from global warming and climate change, the right solutions to the problems should be desired. That's why the Holy Father tells us that as persons of faith, we feel ourselves even more responsible for acting each day in accordance with the summons to conversion. Nor is that summons simply individual. The ecological conversion needed to bring about lasting change is also a community conversion. Laudato C. 219. Rather than just complain about other people, you do what you can. Our first reading today is taken from the book of the prophet Haggai, chapter 1, verses 1 to 8, and gives us an indication on the type of sermons given by Haggai to inspire the rebuilding of the temple. We could see clearly here that the people were more interested in building their own homes and decorating their own buildings than rebuilding the temple. They felt that wasn't the best time to focus on the temple, yet there wouldn't be a better time to do so. Haggai told them, Is it a time for you yourselves to dwell in paneled houses while this house lies in ruins? Consider how you have fed. You have sown much and harvested little. You eat but never get enough. You drink but you never have your fill. You clothe yourselves but no one is warm. And he who earns wages, earns wages to put them into a bag with holes. He charged them to build the temple that God might delight to live in their midst. God's presence is the glory of his people. Our gospel today is taken from Luke chapter 9, verses 7 to 9, and presents the anxiety of Herod concerning the person of Jesus. On hearing his fame, Herod was told by some that it was John the Baptist who had risen from the dead. Others told him Elijah had appeared while others said one of the prophets of old had risen. Herod, however, wondered, John I beheaded, but who is this about whom I hear such things? Herod had killed John to satisfy a little girl who danced so well at his banquet. He had promised the girl to ask for anything, even to half of his kingdom. The girl's mother on the revenge mission saw this as an opportunity and so demanded for the head of the prophet on a platter. For John had told Herod that it was wrong to have married the brother's wife. She got her wish, the head of John on a platter, and now Herod himself is troubled on hearing of the fame of Jesus. There are people in our society today who do what they know to be wrong to prove that they are courageous. They often become troubled in conscience and run from pillar to post looking for remedy. How do you treat those who confront you with the truth? Do you silence the prophets in your life by getting rid of them? 
you will soon come to an understanding that power is passing. Be careful what you do with the power you have now. Let us pray. O Lord, make me strong and courageous to proclaim the truth and so be your faithful follower. Amen. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.